Good morning my dear children and parents. Welcome to class 7th of Indus Valley Public School Raj. And now in this video we will be studying about the part 2 of the lesson A Gift of Chapels written by Vasanta Surya from your honeycomb book. So my dear children in the last video we have studied about how a childhood occur how we used we used to keep the secret of our siblings how we have developed the humanity towards the animals and how we used to do mischiefs when we are a uh, in our childhood okay and we have also study about the different characters present in this story like mridu is there tapi is there rukumani mridu's aunt is there her cousins are there Lal- lali ravi Me- meena and music master and one more unknown character that is beggar so about beggar we will be studying in second part in the first part i have to, i had told you that mridu is a young girl who uh, used to stay in chennai with her grandparents and one what happened in one afternoon her grandmother decided to take her to her aunt's place that is rukmini's place where she met with her cousins lali ravi and meena so they are what the ravi and meena were doing they have taken a kitten they have hide hidden a kitten behind their backyard and the secret was uh, it was a secret and it was not told to their parents but as soon as mridu entered they took her and immediately reveal it okay because we used to share the things with our siblings the same they did and in this part we will be studying the rest part of this story uh, about the description of the music master then uh, about uh, the beggar and how the lesson a gift of chapel is given the name as gift of chapel how the lesson what the name a gift of chapel it will be revealing in this part okay my dear children so just recall like initially when mridu came she noticed a chapel and the description of that chapel and the description was it's very old and dusty and all the marks of fingers were there on that chapel this was the description of the chapel in the beginning of the chapter that mridu noticed okay so now coming to the second part children some of the words are there and that you have to write in your notebook that are bold in your video and uh, i have given the meanings also so please write down, write down these words in your notebook and learn the meaning of these words okay so now coming to the second part mridu crept up to the window crept means crawled Lali was sitting a distance away, awkwardly, awkwardly means uncomfortably, holding her violin and bow string, her elbow jutting out, and her eyes glazed with concentration. So now what happened? Uh, these three, like Bridu, Meena, and Ravi, they heard some creaking sound, and that creaking sound was the sound of the violin that was played by. lali so what happened they have crept crawled or uh, crawled up to the window see here uh, in this picture i'll tell you see how she is learning and all the three are standing near that window and they are looking so this is what they are coming and crawling towards the window and seeing what is happening from where the noise screeching sound were coming so so what happened so they were uh, what they have noticed that ki lali was sitting a distance away awkwardly that means uncomfortably and what she was doing she was having violin and bow string so violin was there and the string uh, instrument that was played and her elbow was hanging down out of her eyes gazed with concentration so she was having a dull eyes as she was concentrating on the thing how to play in front of her 
with most of his back at the window was a bony figure the music master so bony figure music master now in the, here the description of music master is coming bony figure means a very lean and thin person whose bones can be easily visible ekdam patla insaan jiske bones dikhti ho that's why it is no called as bony figure he had almost bald had it head with a fringe of oiled black hair falling around his ears and old fashioned tuft so now what happened he was having bald head it means all the hairs is gone and he was having a fringe so you see here a uh, description see uh, look in uh, look into the head of the master so all whole hairs is gone uh, then some of the hairs is there and fringe is there with all wo jo choti si nikli hui hai it is a description of that only okay now a gold chain gleamed around his leathery neck to jo uska jo neck hai wahan pe gold chain hai and neck is very tough and the diamond ring glittering on his hand and it glided up and down the stem of the violin so he was wearing a diamond ring so it is going up and down as he was playing the violin so when the string bow string was moving up so his diamond ring was moving up bow string coming down and the bow, diamond ring was coming down so it is that description okay then a large foot stuck out from beneath in gold bordered vesti so vesti is a dhoti that uh, used in tamil like it's the tamil story only so what happened so a uh, large foot stuck out from the beneath below his golden border vesti dhoti edge and he was beating time on the floor with this crowny big toe now see how let you know look into the feet look at the pin into the picture how feet was there so he was wearing a dhoti and his feet was out okay so from that dhoti his feet was out and when the beats were coming of the music that feet was tapping the floor jab log gana sunte ho koi beats aati to hum log floor apne pair bajane lagte hai na floor pe the same thing so he was tapping his feet on the floor on the beats of the violin he played a few notes notes means musical uh, notes okay so jaise aapke gagan sir aapke notes bhejte hai na sur taal wagaira kaise play kiya jata hai so that is there so he played a few notes lali stumbled behind him on her violin which looked quite helpless so what happened lali was following all the notes but uh, she was falling ruk ruk ke like ekdam se follow nahi kar rahi thi because she was learning so she was following all the notes uh, halting the of the violin and she was helpless because she don't know how to manage the things so now and unhappy in her hand she was not willing to learn the violin but uh, it was the music master and it was the will of her parents that she has to learn so she was learning the violin what a difference the music master's notes seemed to float up and settle perfectly into the invisible tracks of the melody so now these people were observing and they were telling it was a perfect note played by the music master it was like the wheel of a train fitting smoothly into the rails and whizzing along as ravi said now ravi is saying that her um, his musical playing instrument was so smoothly her noise uh, her voice um, its, its voice was so smooth that ki train ka jo wo hoti hai na patri and the wheels were smoothly going means a smooth noise were coming up its very melody sound was coming up okay and this was said by ravi mrithu startled means watch sorry mrithu stared as she was looking at the huge beringed hand moving effortlessly up the violin stem making lovely music so when using master was playing the music playing the violin so and the melody sound was coming Ridhu, Meera, and Ravi—they were looking at him, and it is bearing means 
the because he was wearing a ring it was coming up and down they were observing that and they were enjoying the lovely music that was played by music master scrack there was lali derailing derailing means out of track again amma came a wail from gate amma oh so what happened when lali was playing it was very harsh sound because she was a learner and she was not able to learn it properly that way it a derailing out of track sound okay ekdam se hum log acha to baja nahi sakte similarly she was doing because she was learning so her violin sound was not that much good as compared to music master so in between then she was playing there was a sound from the gate and somebody was calling amma and amma okay so who is that let's see ravi sent that beggar away cried his mother from the back veranda where she was chatting with tapi so what happened the sound was of the beggar so ravi's mother told him to send the beggar away because she was talking with the tapi that means grandmother he has been coming here every day for the past week and it's time he found another house to break from pati explained to tapi so now what happened they both were talking to each other and they said that he this beggar is continuously coming for the last past week okay every day he is coming for the last past week now it's the time for him and that beggar should now knock the other door he should not come to our house and this was explained by the party okay mridyu and meena followed out the beggar was already in the garden so as soon as uh, ravi ridyu and all the meera meena they went to the uh, near the beggar and asked him to go away but the beggar already entered the garden he was in the garden making himself quite at home he had spread his upper cloth under the neem tree and was leaning against its trunk apparently prepared to take a little snooze while he waited for the alms to appear so now what happened he was already means beggar was already inside the garden and he was leaning under the tree and he was waiting for some alms alms means uh, um, kuch bhi jaise koi beggar aata hai to ko sochta hai na mujhe kuch mil jaye so that is only the thing so he was held waiting for that any kind of help either in the monetary or any food or something like that go away said ravi stony both harshly ravi said go away from this place my party says it's time you found another house to beg from so ravi is saying that uh, his grandmother is saying that now you go to another house for the arms we will not give you anything you are coming regularly here go away from this place the beggar opened his eyes very wide and gazed at each of the children one by one so when uh, ravi said to go away that time beggar started looking to all the three children one by one the ladies of this house he said at last you know very choked with feeling a very kind soul i have kept my body and soul together on their generosity for a whole week i cannot believe that they would turn me away so now what happened beggar was consoling everybody and he is saying that i was coming here for the last week and i was observing the ladies of this house and their their heart is not that much cruel ki they will ask me to go without any help so his when he was saying all this thing his voice was choked that was blocked ek dabi awaaz se jisme usko vishwas nahi tha ki usko kuch milega ki nahi milega so in order to expect anything he was saying all these things he was expecting ki by my this word i will be getting something okay i cannot believe that they would turn me away he raised his wife 
वाइस सो अगेन ही स्टार्टेड कॉलिंग अम्मा अम्मा सेट इज वेल माई माई टू बी बट इन सर्टेनिटी वॉज इन फीवर सो वट हैपन ही अगेन रेज इज वाइफ वाइस एंड कॉल द लेडीज फ्रॉम द हाउस it began in a deep strong rumble somewhere in the withered belly and came booming out to of his mouth with its few remaining teeth brown with beetle chewing so now it is a description because uh, it said about the teeth he was eating beetle beetle mean gutka and all so his teeth was dirty uh, yellow or brown color and again some because of For hunger, some sound were coming from the stomach, and all. So this was this uh, description about the beggar. Ravi, tell him there are nothing left in the kitchen. Call Rukmini, and he is not to come again. Tell him that she sounded fed up. So now Rukmini was fed up by the calling of the beggar every now and then. He is calling Mama and Amma. Rukmini told that nothing is there in the kitchen. Ask, tell him, and tell him not to call her again. So because Rak Rukmini was fed up, she did not want to listen the sound of the beggar. So she told Ravi to tell uh, the beggar not to call her again, Amma, Amma, and there is nothing left in the kitchen. Ravi did not have to repeat it all to the beggar. what his mother said been easy for them all to hear they are under the neem tree the beggar sat up and sighed so what happened her mother's voice was very loud that ravi did not repeat the words said by her mother beggar already listened and uh, he was very much uncomfortable there i'll go i'll go he said tiredly wearily now beggar is saying okay i'll go now only let me have a rest under this tree so now he is saying that okay i will go but allow me some time to sit under this tree the sun is so hot the tar was melted on the road my feet are already blistered he stretched out his feet to show large pink peeling blisters on the sole of his bare feet so now he is saying he is requesting the children that please rest me under this tree because it's very hot outside the road was uh, under construction so some tar was there so when he was walk when he walked on that road so that uh, road was very hot and uh, his feet was burn from that tar so there was some kind of sore pink blister pe. जब आपके पैर जल जाते तो जो घाव फफोले पड़ते हैं ना दैट वॉज देयर ऑन एस फीट ठीक है सो ही आज इन लेट मी हैव सम रेस्ट टिल द टाइम द सन गेट सन गो अवे फ्रॉम दिस प्लेस एंड हॉटनेस लिटिल विथ हॉटनेस कम टू कोल्ड ओके बिकॉज आई हैव ब्लिस्टर्स ऑन माई फीट and it's very painful so let me rest for some time i suppose he doesn't have the money to buy chappals mridu whispered now mridu is thinking that the beggar is not having enough amount of money to purchase the chappals that's why he is having uh, blisters on his feet and she told this thing to meena and ravi Have you got an old pair in the house somewhere? Now she is asking that whether you people are having old pair of chappals in your house so that we can give this to the beggar. I don't know," said Ravi. Now Ravi is saying, "I don't know whether it's there or not." Mina are too small. Sorry, mine are too small to fit his feet, or I would have given them to him. So Ravi is saying that my feet are small, and my chappal will also be small. Otherwise, I would have given this to the beggar. And his feet were larger than Bridu's and Meena's. The beggar was shaking out his upper cloth and tightening his dhoti. 
he raised his eyes and looked fearfully at the road gleaming in the afternoon heat so now he is about to leave so he had tied his dhoti and he was very much when the fearful when so bahut dara hua tha us garmi wale dhoop se he was looking in that afternoon at the road because he has to leave जब धूप होती है गर्मी होती है तो हम लोग बाहर निकलना नहीं चाहते ना देखते हैं कितनी तेज़ धूप है हाउ वी विल गो आउट हाउ वी विल मूव आउट सिमिलरली दिस बैग वॉज चूइंग ही नीड समथिंग ऑन हिज फीट मीन सेट हर बिग आईज फीलिंग इट्स नॉट फेयर सो नाउ मीरा इज हैविंग पिटी टूवर्ड्स दिस बैगर एंड शी सेट दैट At least this beggar should have something on his feet because it's very hot outside and it is not good if we are allowing him to go without any help. So let's have something. Let's search out for something. Shh," said Ravi. "I'm thinking about it." So when uh, something told by Radio, that time Meena and Radio. So that time Ravi said, "Okay, be quiet. Let me think for something." blabbering it's not fair it's not fair it's going to help in two minutes he will be frying his feet on that road what he needs is a pair of chappal so where do we get them come let's search the house he pushed mridyu and meena into the house so now what happened when meena told and uh, like he needs a chappal and all so now these words were um taken a house inside the ravi's heart and he feel he also felt pity on that bed girl and then all the three children decided to search a pair of chappals for the bed girl just as she stepped into the veranda ridu's eyes fell on the old odd looking chappals she had noticed when she arrived so now uh, the thing i've already told he as soon as mrudu entered she noticed one chappal and i already told you the description on that chappal it is very old dusty and the marks of the finger was there on that chappal okay so she immediately recognized she Im- immediately recalled that chappal and she told everyone about that ravi she whispered to him who are those now she is asking who is asking mrudu is asking whose chappal is that Ravi turned a glance at the shabby looking but sturdy odd slipper. So that chappal look was very shabby with very odd very uh, I mean uh, not in a good condition but it was strong. He beamed and nodded. These are just the right size. So Ravi is saying that okay this chappal is right for that bag or because size was also big. He said picking on that mridyu and meena followed him nervously back into the garden so ravi picked up the chappal and all the three went to the garden again here said ravi said ravi to the baker dropping the slippers in front of the old man so now he ravi said okay take this chappal and he dropped this chappal in front to the baker Wear these and don't come back. So he said, "Okay, just wear this chappal and no need to come back again to this house." The beggar stared at the slippers, hurriedly flung his towel over his shoulder, pushed his feet into them, and left, muttering a blessing to the children. In a minute, he had vanished around the corner of the street. So now. As soon as the beggar get got the ch- chappals, he wore it and immediately gone away from that place, and he vanished within the fraction of time. But Turanthi was a guy who got chappal leke, and he was muttering means he was giving blessings to the children. The music master came out of the house and took an unappreciative look at the three of them sitting quietly under the tree, playing marble. Then he searched for his chapels in the veranda where he had put them. So now what happened? As the music class was over for Lali, music master came out and he started searching 
for his chappus and he was giving a weird look to all the three children who were sitting under the tree and they were playing marble okay so now after giving the chappal these three children sat under the tree and they started playing marble and as soon as the music class was over music master came out and he started searching for his chappal lali he called after a few moments she hurried up to him have you seen my chappals my dear i remember having kept them here so when music master was not able to find this slippers his chappals he called up lali and asked have you seen my chappal matlab kya tumne dekhi because i have kept here only so have you seen that so he was just asking the chappal from the lali okay Ravi, Bridu, Meena silently watched Lali and the music master search every corner of the veranda. He scurried around, looking all over the railing and crouching near the flower pots to look between them. Brant knew they were. I went all the way to Mount Road to buy them. He went on saying, "So now." these three two uh, children were sitting at the corner and now this uh, music master was searching for his chapel everywhere under the uh, pots and all he was bending and searching for his chapel and he was saying that it was very nice chapel it was very good he has purchased from mount road and uh, he was just uh, appreciating his chapel that his con- that chapel condition was very good and all and he went on saying all these things the cost a whole month fee do you know so he was saying this his chapel was very expensive so lali went into tell her mother rukumani appeared looking harassed and party following her so what happened the music master was not able to get his chapel then lali went inside and told her mother about that music master chapel is missing okay so now by hearing this thing rukumani and uh, parthi they would uh, seems to be very much harassed very much stressed ke where is chappal why his chappal is missing from that particular place where could they be it's really quite upsetting to think someone might have stolen them so many vendors come to the door worried parthi so now grandmother is saying that How could it be possible that his chapel is missing from there? Then she said, "Somebody might have stolen because many of the vendors, काफी लोग आते हैं अंदर बेचने वाले सब सामान वगैरह. They might have taken it, might have got stolen." Rukmani caught sight of Ravi, Bridu, and Meena sitting under a tree. So now Rukmani started looking at all the three children who were sitting under the tree. Have you children? She began, and then. seeing they were curious quite went on more slowly seen anyone looking around the veranda so now what happened when uh, rukmini saw these children she was about to ask them in a very rough manner in a very angry mood about the chappers but she stopped only they have your children and she started coming around the veranda and started searching and she did not ask anything to these children by seeing their innocence so she uh, observed the innocence of the children and she stopped asking anything from the children a v shaped line had formed between her eyebrow this v shape jab hum gussa jate hai na to ye eyebrow se kudh jati hai aur ek v shape ban jata hai so that is what was there uh, bit, uh, formed with, uh, on the forehead of rukmani and in the straight Tighter one appeared in place of her usually soft, pleasant mouth. So she was an angry, but she turned her anger, and now she became a so smooth talker. Rukmani was angry. Thought Mridhu with a shiver, she wouldn't be so upset if she knew about the poor beggar with sore on his feet. She tried to tell herself. So now what happened, Mridhu? Uh, realize that her aunt is angry and if she will tell her the truth 
she will not be that much angry so this thing namrita was thinking what to do and what not to do taking a deep breath she cried rukumini there was a beggar here poor thing he had such boils on his feet so now ab usko sachai batani hai so she taken a deep breath and start telling to her aunt rukumini there was a beggar and she told that that beggar was having boils on his feet so said rukumini grimly turning to ravi you gave the music master chappals to that old beggar who turns up here so now rukumini in her anger she tell she told that okay if that beggar is having boil if that beggar is having uh, some uh, wound on his uh, wound on his feet then you will give somebody else chappal to him matlab kisi ka bhi saman utha ke aap de denge children these day grown party Amma, didn't you tell me about Karna, who gave me away, who gave away everything he had, even his gold earrings? He was so kind and generous. So now, when the Rukmini was scolding the children, in between party, when grandmother started saying, "Kid, children now, remember, आजकल के बच्चे भी ना कुछ भी कर जाते हैं." So now, what happened? That na dadi boli, uske baad hi Rukmini kehti hai. Mama, just think of that Karna. You know how he Karn, what he used to do. He also given all the things of his without thinking if and but, and even the gold thing what he was wearing, he already given to the people. Silly, snapped Rukmini. Karn did not give away other people things. He only gave away his own. So now uh, Rukmini, in between, she said that Karn he used to give the things, but it. He only give the things that belongs to him. He never used to give others thing to anyone. But my chappal's foot have fitted the beggar's feet. Ravi rushed brashly on, and Amma, if they did fit, would you really have really not have minded? So now Ravi is saying that if my chappal would fit the beggar, and if I would have given that chappal to that beggar. then you will not mind you will not scold us in that point of time ravi said rukmani very angry now go inside this manat now rukmani was very angry and she scolded ravi and asked him to go immediately inside the house she hurried indoors and brought out gopu mama's hardly worn new chappal so now Rukmini went inside and brought Gobu Mama's chappal that was very new. These should fit you, sir. Please put these on. I'm so sorry. My son had been very naughty. So now what happened? Uh, Rukmini brought the chappal and gave to the music master, and she asked sorry for his son and said. He is very naughty. I am so sorry. Please take these chappals. The music master's eyes lit up. Means after seeing that chappal, he was very happy, but he had not shown his happiness to the family member. He put them on, try not to look too happy. Well, I suppose this will have to do. These days, children have no respect for elders. What to do? A Hanuman incarnate only Rama can save such a naughty fellows. So now what happened? Music master was saying that, okay, this chapel will do it, but the children of nowadays they do not have any kind of respect. Okay, and he said, uh, he has taken uh, these children as Hanuman. Means uh, these children are naughty, and nobody can help out. Only Rama, Lord Rama, will help them. They only Lord Rama have control on Hanuman. Otherwise, Hanuman used to do all kind of mischiefs. Similarly, these children are doing the mischiefs, and only Lord Rama can help out from this situation. Rukmini's eyes flashed. She didn't seem to like Ravi being called a monkey. Even a holy monkey. So when uh, music master was comparing these children or Ravi from 
comparing uh, with the monkey so rukmani did not liked ki ravi should be compared with the monkey even the hanuman that is a goddess a holy monkey okay she stood stiff and straight by the front door it was clear that she wanted him to leave quickly so now by saying all this thing and she was not willing to music master to be there for long so she was standing near that as she was looking at the door which means she wants immediately music master should leave that place when he clattered off in his new chapels she said bridyu come in and have some tiffin so when as soon as he wore the chapel his master wore the chapel and went away so rukmani called bridyu to have something from the kitchen to eat honestly how do you children think of such things thank god your gopu mama doesn't wear the chapels to work so she is saying that all these ideas how it comes to your people मतलब तुम लोग को ये आइडियाज आते हैं कहाँ किसी की भी चीज़ उठा के दे देना कुछ करना बट थैंक टू गॉड कि यो गोपो मामा डिड नॉट वी दिस चप्पल एट ऑफिस मतलब वो चप्पल पहन के ऑफिस जाते नहीं है ये घर पे रखी हुई थी अदरवाइज व्हाट विल हैपन एज शी वॉक टूवर्ड्स द किचन विद मृदु एंड मीना शी सडनली बिगेन टू लाफ तो वैन शी वॉज वॉकिंग टूवर्ड्स द किचन विद ऑल दिस थ्री चिल्ड्रेन शी स्टार्ट लाफिंग बट हिज ऑलवेज इन सच अ हरी to throw off his shoes and socks and get into his chapel as soon as he comes here home what's your mama going to say this evening when i tell him i gave his chapel to the music master so now she began to laugh why she was laughing because she was thinking ki your mama used to be in so much hurry as soon as he comes home he used to remove his uh, socks and shoes and immediately वे आर द चप्पल्स ना वैन ही विल कम इन द इवनिंग इफ यू विल आस्क अबाउट द चप्पल एंड इफ आई नरेट वॉट हैपन टू हिज चप्पल दैन वॉट विल बी हिज रिएक्शन तो थिंकिंग अबाउट हिज रिएक्शन शी वॉज लाफिंग शी स्टार्टड लाफिंग सो माई डियर चिल्ड्रेन ह्यू वी एंड विद द स्टोरी सो नाउ हाउ अ गिफ्ट ऑफ चप्पल्स केम इन टू लाइम राइट सो अ गिफ्ट ऑफ चप्पल्स it was a gift to the beggar as well as it was a gift to the music master the difference was that beggar was in need music master was not in a need so this way the name of the story came a gift of chappas because both beggar as well as the music master got the chappal as a gift okay that's why the title of the story came a gift of chappals So my dear children on the basis of your reading there are three comprehension questions please do that and show to me your first question is the music master is making lovely music read aloud the sentences in the text that express this idea so you have to find out the line where these children were appreciating the notes played by the music master In your second question, had the beggar come to Rukmini's house for the first time? Give reason for your answer. So, in this answer, you have to tell whether the beggar was coming for the first time or beggar was already coming there. So, which line or how did you uh, how did you come to know whether beggar was for the first time or beggar was continuously coming there? Okay, so you have to tell. You have to tell about that. Tapi uh, told that this beggar used to come from come here for the last week. So from this line, you can say that he is he is not coming for the first time. He was continuously coming from the last week. Okay. A sharp V-shaped line had formed between her eyebrow. What does it suggest to you about Rukmini's mood? So V line was there on her forehead. This means that she was in a angry. mood who was in the angry mood rukmini was in the angry mood okay my dear children so now you read out this part find out the comprehension check question answers okay In the next video i'll provide you with the summary and the question answers of this lesson 
so till then bye my dear children take care and thank you so much